All right, so this is going to be a Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon. I as well, Virgo Rising Weekly General Tarot Reading, April 13th to April 19th, 2020. <clears throat> and uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a uh, personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can uh, purchase such. And as well, if you uh, want to learn tarot cards and you like the way I read them, you can sign up for my online tarot classes uh, in which I'm going to explain you the all major arcana in regards to career interpretation, relationship interpretation, um, negative aspects, positive aspects or pleasant aspects and unpleasant aspects and as well how it stands into a dedicated spread that I mostly use and I chose for the purpose of the classes as well. So that being said, uh, moving to the spread straight away of the week. Now the first card, which represents the very topic for you, Virgo, is going to be the Magician, followed by the next one, which stands for the Energies. Uh, supporting and feeding the topic, that is going to be the energy of the Knight of Swords. Uh, furthermore, we do have the challenges that you will have to overcome here. That is to be the challenge of the uh, Ace of Swords. Then it is uh, the gift and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week. That is to be the gift and the blessing of the Ten of Swords. Afterwards, uh, we do have the Nine of Wands, which stands as the impression of the people around that uh, you are creating. And the last one is the guidance that Taro is offering. That is to be the guidance of the Four of Cups. So those uh, six cards. All right. Um, so what we do have on our hand here in terms of the energy and the topic itself, uh, it seems that uh, this week it is a week where you have to make some, um, you have to face some decision making, but it is not, it is important, but it is not a, a game changing, if you will, that decision making will refer more to how well you are to, to, to lay down your future from now on in terms of career or in terms of relationship. That is because the energies of the Knight of Swords throughout the week itself is going to urge you to look deeply into or to capitalize deeply upon your um, intellectual ability and uh, wisdom, if you will, and therefore start uh, collecting the positives and the, uh, and the negatives from one or another way of doing things or one or another way decision making. Uh, so at the end of the day, you end up deciding in favor of uh, what's, uh, what you like, if we can say it that way, because the decision making with the Knight of Swords always, it's, it's synchronized simultaneously with the um, into, not intuition, but with the uh, emotions or with the feelings and with the logic as well. So in other words, you do something that it is logically proven, but in the same time, it is a thing that you like to do as well. Why I am saying that uh, and why those decisions are not going to be that of a game changing. It is because those such kind of decisions usually refers to what should I do this week? Having a, a, a lot of enterprises to choose from which enterprises exactly should I choose to to develop throughout the week? And therefore, with uh, with this card, with these couple of cards that there is, and especially with the energies that are sitting on the first position, uh, you got to decide in favor of those that are making you feel good. And uh, with the Knight of Swords, the, the Knight of Swords is usually a, a card that uh, kind of seeks the truth, the, the, the reality, if you will. And as well, it's accompanied with a lot of tenacity. And that tenacity needs to be supported with uh, quite of an enthusiasm. Okay, so therefore, having the Knight of Swords, it's all about things that are uh, keep up your interest, and it's kind of like it's uh, uh, you're looking forward to to see how it's to develop at the uh, at the very end, instead of uh, you know um, attending to trivial and annoying stuff. So though th this is what the energy is throughout the week is going to represent you with. Uh, a, a nice, not exhilarating, but interesting things 
that you can jump into depending on what kind of a decision making you are going to do it's important once again to decide in favor of uh, what makes you feel good and that leads us to the topic itself which is the magician now uh, as soon as you make up your mind in regards to which enterprises you should incorporate um, should you decide into your favor all right or into the favor of what you like to do uh, then you're going to start feeling um, a quite bigger personal standpoint and personal sovereignty in other words that this time around you have done something for yourself rather than to follow someone else's recommendations if you will um, another thing with the magician it is that the more you perform into those enterprises uh, the more determination you are going to start adopting to see the thing through to see the thing to the very end and as well uh, those enterprises also are going to uh, attract different kind of individuals around you or different people because the magician is always followed what i mean is that it always attracts uh, attracts a followers that are that this is very important that are seeing the magician is exactly for what the magician is meaning that these people will like you for who you are so um uh, to give it a, a more practical interpretation of those um uh, of those cards say it's about uh, it's about career for you that means that whichever project you are to attend you know throughout the week it's important that you find it interesting that it is something that allows you to grow in the sense of the learning new stuff and the more you perform into it the more um the, the better you are going to become and that will be very well liked from your boss and uh, or from your supervisor and from your colleagues as well in terms of relationship with those couple of cards it's important that you both are doing things separately like we said this this is about um boosting the personal uh personal sovereignty meaning that you do what you like your partner does what you, what they like but it's important that you both does not get in conflict with one another okay so probably those cards are calling for a little bit of a, a time on its own or time for yourself if you will uh then we do have the challenges that you will have to overcome here that is to be the challenge of the uh, ace of swords and with that challenge in this narrative it does look like that it will be a bit difficult for you to um, open your mind for the possibility that throughout this week not everything is urgent as a matter of fact nothing is urgent okay and you can actually lose a bit a little bit the news over your um, over your sense of emergency uh, and over the sense of tackling with the immediate responsibility straight away so uh the, the whole point with the ace of swords it is that for you is going to be challenging to identify the true nature of your situation and therefore you may deceive yourself that one thing is more important than the other while at the end of the day with the ace of swords the most important thing is how you feel at the end of the day you know um, do, did you like your day at job or did you like your day spending at your house with your um with your partner although you may have not done you know cumulative stuff this is what matters at the end of the day with this reading so uh it looks like Virgo, that for this week it's important that um you actually um open yourself i don't know how to say it but turn your look towards yourself and see what you do like to do rather than to follow some sort of a code of conduct a code of conduct uh, the next one here it is about the the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy uh, so with the ten of swords uh, this is the gift of purge uh, in a sense of that uh, a purging of of things and of enterprises that in generally are making you feel poignant and despondent as well simultaneously at the same time and it's it's highly connected with the challenges like we said you know that at the start of the week you may find it difficult to understand or to believe that the emergency it's not that big and as you are kind of like struggling to adopt that perspective it will be very difficult for you to detach from those activities that does not matter at least for you and from your career for your career or for your job as well uh throughout this week but uh, the gift of the ten of swords points that at some point you're gonna just say 
F it, you know, it's, uh, it is what it is. So uh, if at the end of the day, I hate wake, waking up and going at work or I, or I wake up and I hate looking and I can't look forward for the enterprises with my partner. Why, why, why do I live even, or why do I kind of like allow myself to go through that all, uh, all over again? So, uh, it will, it will provoke in you that very drastic standpoint uh, of just, you know, doing what it's necessary or rather like doing those radical actions to, uh, to make, to make yourself happy. And at the end of the day, the, the true gift of the Ten of Swords is new era into one's life. And what I do suspect here that is going to happen is that you are going to see that it's not as bad as you thought it is in the sense of that, yes, you have neglected, neglected some similarly very important things, you know, uh, and some responsibilities that are seemingly calling for a big sense of emergency, but it did not end up as morbid as you have uh, anticipated, okay? As a matter of fact, nothing really happened. So that will teach you, I do suspect, to start taking care for yourself more, or first and foremost, and uh, then turning your glance upon what the rest of the world demands on you. And this is exactly what the, the um, impression of those around you is going to be. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands, people were to see you as a as someone who is now making necessary adaptations to make their life much more bearable, um, facing ups and downs with much more ease, you know, and in generally making one's life much more co comfortable. Because uh, with the nine of wands, one draws from huge amounts of experience, and uh, what do you, what I do suspect for you is that drawing from that experience, the realization that while you may attend to seemingly, you know, big sense of emergencies, at the end of the day, even successfully fi finalized, you are not going to feel any satisfaction. So why? you should you should do it right because we should do stuff that are making us satisfied at the end of the day and that will be complete change of um for what i think complete change of daily routine environment uh, not environment but um how can i say it a uh, performance complete change of way of performance into one thing or another and uh, that is also supported by the final card here which stands for the guidance that Saro is offering we do have the four of cups so what is the trivial interpretation of the four of cups boredom okay it's, it's just boring you're sitting on one place stuck with the same thing all over again uh, the, the cups are just they're not moving meaning that no emotional flow whatsoever completely gray environment and while simultaneously at the same time you do have some new cup, cups offered to you okay and it does require like with the um, knight of swords and the ace of swords as well a rather strong mental awareness to um, understand that or to kind of like yeah to open your mind for it this is what deprives you from having your uh, daily routine much more funny uh, or much more fun uh, with much more fun than before because uh, for what it seems you have been stuck into certain enterprises that does not dictate they need to be pushed through at that particular point, point and you can simply you know uh, start doing things that you do like and this is what this week is going to teach you to do okay that sometimes it's just ain't worth it and you you have to at the end of the day do something for yourself because nobody else is going to really so that being said uh, this was your weekly general tarot reading virgo it's um kind of like i don't want to say an important week but it is a week that uh it's not going to make that big of a difference. It's just an ordinary week, at least for what it seems to me. Sometimes we do have it, you know, and um, we can't do much about it. It's just we have to go through it. And hopefully in the next week of yours, you are going to have um, an opportunities for major breakthroughs. But this week, it's all, ma all that matters is what you do for yourself to improve your personal sovereignty once again and to uh, simply have it as exhilarating as possible. 
so yeah, that was uh, your uh, general tarot reading for the week. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. Once again, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And as well there, you're going to see um, a section of tarot classes. It is where I am conducting a, a live tarot classes explaining the cards, the major arcana for now um, in terms of career, in terms of relationship, what it means in a negative position, what it means in a positive position. And in generally, hopefully those who are conducting the class or are participating into the class, I'm sorry, at the end of the day, will be able to connect the card with almost any kind of questions that are to be addressed as a tarot reader. And um, that's it. Hopefully you're going to stay safe now and uh, we are to see each other around. Until then, bye.